welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment with any questions you may have. So today's video is really exciting. Um, this is something I've been working on for a really long time, kind of putting it together piece by piece for you guys. So I'm very excited to put this out there and see what uh, kind of reaction I get. So I started an Amazon store that is solely based around helping people furnish their home to set it up on Airbnb. So with that being said, um, it is primarily for Airbnb, but if you are just furnishing your home for your own use, this also comes in really handy. So what I did, um, I started this Amazon store and I've come up with lists of different items that you will need for your home. So I have a few videos here on items that I've talked about on YouTube, um, like the ring cameras and the self check-in um, for the igloo home. So those are great videos to check out for different products that I recommend. Um, and here you see I have lists for every room in the house, the bedroom, kitchen, laundry room, everything. So the idea behind this was, um, when we bought our house in Drax Hall, it's a three bedroom, three bath house. And I spent so much time putting together lists of what I would need and searching online for lists that were already out there. And then I would go through my kitchen in my house here in New York and um, go through my drawers and see all the things I had, like spatulas, wine, wine bottle openers, um, can opener, a blender, all these different things that you need in a kitchen. Um, if you're a female out there, you get what I'm saying. There are just a lot of little things, especially in a kitchen, that you might not remember when you're putting together um, a list of things to buy to furnish a home from scratch. So when you get these homes, if it's in a new development in Jamaica, it will come with absolutely nothing. So you have to start um, from scratch. So like I said, I spent a lot of time putting together lists for Drex Hall and trying to figure out, okay, where would I buy certain items, which would be the best um, place to buy small items like kitchen uh, utensils, and then where should I buy my large appliances? So what we came to was we ended up buying our appliances and our large furniture like the bed and couch in Jamaica. Um, and there's a link on my website, sidehustlemama.co, um, that has all that information for the furniture and appliance store. It's uh, in Kingston. It's called uh, Appliance and TV Depot in Kingston. So it's a great store. They give really good prices and the quality of furniture is very good. So I highly recommend buying those large items and appliances in Jamaica. However, there are a lot of other things that go into the house, uh, like linens, bedding, um, all the stuff for the kitchen, bathrooms, things for the laundry room um, that you have to buy as well. So I highly recommend uh, buying those things on Amazon. And what you can do is ship them in your suitcase uh, when you go down, like your extra checked bag. Um, typically what my husband and I do, uh, we're allowed two checked bags when we go to Jamaica. So we try <laughs> if we can both cooperate because I'm guilty of taking way too many clothes to Jamaica when I pack. Um, I always bring so many things and I never end up using them, but um, I end up wearing tank tops and shorts the whole time I'm there. But um, if we can, we try to pack everything in one checked bag um, for our personal items and our carry-on. And then what we do is we'll have three checked bags left over and we can fill those bags with things for the house. Um, and I still do this today because even though we're not setting up a new house, every time we go down, there's always things that you want to replace like towels or sheets. Um, dishes, different things like that. So you can pack those in your checked bag um, so you don't have to pay extra to ship those down. Um, with that being said, when we bought the house in Drax Hall, we did ship uh, four barrels down um, to set everything up. Because like I said, it was a three bedroom house. So we had uh, three bedrooms to furnish. That's, it's 
sets of sheets, sets of towels, everything for the bathrooms. So I found it helpful to use four barrels because we just had the volume of stuff we had was just a lot um, to begin with. So that's a great way to get things down to Jamaica. Um, I don't know what the cost is from every place because um, I know a lot of you are in Canada and the UK. Um, but here in New York, you can buy a barrel for about 50 US dollars and ship it down for roughly between 50 and and $100 dollars. Um, to Jamaica. So it's a pretty cost effective way to get your items down there. Um, so you can pack all the sheets, the towels, your curtains. Um, we even put, we shipped down two TVs um, when we did the barrels. So it's, um, you can really fit a lot in there and there's no weight restrictions. Whatever you can fit in the barrel will go. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind also, because when you're taking things down in your check bag, you obviously have some weight restrictions. Um, so you have to keep that in mind as well and balance out what you might put in a barrel versus what you would put in your checked bag. So let me just give you guys an idea of what is on this list. Um, I'll look at the kitchen list for the ladies out there. We always care about the kitchens. <laughs> So um, I have everything you will need to set up the house really nicely down to some decorations like a fruit bowl for the table and some different options um, and then more functional things like paper towels and um, the towel holder. So I'll just give you an idea here. We have um, different things like cascade that you would need. Uh, garbage bags. Some of the houses, my house in particular, doesn't come with a dishwasher. So I actually buy um, dish soap versus like the Cascade pods. So I put that on here as well. So I tried to think of different variations or different houses um, that you guys might be buying. So when you go through this list, I tried to encompass all the different scenarios. So when you go through this, just be mindful of your house and what you might need. So some houses might need the dishwasher pods, whereas for my house, for example, I buy just a bundle of Dawn and then the uh, Scotch-Brite pads. So like I said, there are a lot of things here. Um, obviously, you don't have to get everything, but you want to make sure your home is comfortable for yourself or your guests. So as many things as you think uh, would be useful. Uh, we have wine glasses, Keurig machine, um, different plates and bowls. Um, we put a couple different silverware or flatware sets. And then I know this might sound odd to some people that I have oil and salt and pepper here, but if you're familiar with Airbnb, um, in order to say that your home has cooking basics, um, you have to say that you have oil, salt, and pepper. So that might seem funny, but um, to be able to check that box on Airbnb, you need these things. Um, so it's good to have just in the house for people who want to cook. All right, so the laundry room, I'll show you this list. Uh, we have things like dustpan, um, Swiffer. I really love that for my house because I don't like to mop. <laughs> so I find the mop is just really, I'm not accustomed to it. It's not something I grew up with. Um, so I um, really like the Swiffer. It's very easy. It's very effective. We have the tile floor like most houses in Jamaica and um, it works really well. So if you just sweep and then use the um, wet Swiffer, it works really well. So um, I'm kind of partial to the Swiffer products. They're really good. So we have some of those there. Um, Windex for the mirrors and if you have a glass shower and all the things you need for the washer and dryer and then obviously right now it's really important to have Lysol wipes to clean everything really well in between guests. So we have an iron and ironing board. So a lot of great things for the laundry room. Um, another thing that I thought was cool, all the houses in Jamaica pretty much have a veranda. So I put some items here. 
um, that would really dress up the veranda as far as lighting and rugs. So I thought those would be fun. They're outdoor rugs that really just dress up the space. And then another really important thing is security, um, especially if you're managing your Airbnb from abroad. Um, it's really good to have some sort of security cameras and then also lock boxes so that you can create a self check in Airbnb, which is a really big thing right now because with COVID, sometimes the guests don't like to interact with a host as much. So if you have a self check in, it gives them the option to check in on their own, get the key, and then they don't have that extra interaction with people. So what we use at our house, um, both of our houses in Jamaica, are the ring cameras and the solar panels, which are awesome. Um, we actually use these at our house in New York too. And even here in New York, where we have kind of some dreary days or the solar panel might be covered up with snow on certain days, we never have to charge these ring cameras, which is a great thing. So being that we live in New York and our Airbnbs are in Jamaica, um, I never have to worry about the batteries going dead. Um, so that's a really great feature of the ring camera and the solar panel. So I highly recommend those. Um, I have some other videos about this, but just so you guys know, we put one camera in the front to cover the front door and another camera in the back for the back door. Um, that's kind of how we have it set up. Depending on your house, you might want some added cameras for the sides. Um, we have our all of our houses grilled, so I feel like that adds some extra security. Um, but if you prefer to have them on the side of the house as well, then you can do that. And then these products here is the Igloo Lockbox um, that you can sync with your Airbnb calendar. It has been a complete lifesaver. It's completely automated. Um, the code for the lockbox gets sent to the guests 24 hours before they arrive and it expires on the day they leave. So you as the host don't have to worry about setting up a new code and putting in the proper date or maybe you mistype something and then the lockbox doesn't work. It totally takes all the guesswork out of this and makes it so easy. Um, so this is a lockbox that we put around the grill. Um, at our houses. And then if you have a house that doesn't have a grill, um, some of the newer houses um, that they're doing now, like um, we visited Ocheria's Country Club and Pyramid Point when we were there in Jamaica. Beautiful developments, very modern. Um, they do not have grills on the veranda. <clears throat> so this lockbox here wouldn't be a good option for that sort of house. Um, so they do have another product that is the keypad entry. Um, so you can add this to your house as well for security. So those are some really great um, items. I also want to show you the bedrooms. Um, just so you see some of the things like I've got everything from the curtains to the curtain rods, um, different decorative pillows, things, wall hangings, lighting. Um, all these different things that I put together. Um, the details, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> I remember when I was trying to furnish the house in Drax Hall, it's just a lot to remember and put down on a list. So I'm really hoping this, this helps you guys out. And then also the bathroom. There's certain things you need for the bathroom. So shower curtains, the little hangers, um, for the shower curtain and then the um, the caddy that goes over uh, the shower so you can keep your shampoo and things. This is a great thing I love. Um, both my husband and I like to listen to music when we're in the shower so this is a great option. Um, it's a waterproof speaker um, that works off Bluetooth so you can hook it up to your phone listen to your music and uh, you don't have to worry about, you know, your phone getting wet or something like that. So we have some other things here, um, like the hand soap and dispensers. Um, obviously toilet paper is very important for the bathroom. Um, also another thing on Airbnb um, that's really great is having a hair dryer. So there's a certain distinction, um, I think it's for business travel, um, where if you 
one of the things you have to check is that you have a hair dryer in the house. So that's um, an important thing to know and add in. So little things like that where you get distinctions on Airbnb for certain items, I've tried to add those in, like the hair dryer for uh, work travel. Also, the self-check-in um, is essential to have the designation um, for business travel as well. And then, like I mentioned in the kitchen, the salt and pepper and oil, um, you have to have that to say that you have cooking basics or essentials. So these are some of the items um, that I have on the list. Also some miscellaneous things that I thought were helpful. Um, ceiling fans, the upright fan, um, and then a garden hose. That's very helpful also. And then your welcome mat. So I tried to add in everything you would need. Um, basically, if you use this list and for the smaller items and then you go to the appliance depot in Kingston, you can literally furnish your house, um, the small items at least, in under an hour. And then the big items, um, if you're abroad, you can call the store and they will send you pictures of the furniture with pricing and you can um, pre-order that or just have an idea at least of how much you would spend uh, for those larger items. So I'm really interested to see what you guys think. Please leave comments, good, bad, ugly. Um, I want to hear it all um, because I really want to make this list something that's very usable for you guys and something that would make your life so much easier. Uh, so let me know what you think and I'll see you on the next one.